CrimTech Intelligent Substation Design. In this session I introduce you to our building information modeling feature. I want to show you how we create control building for high voltage substations. In our BIM feature we have three main parts. We have uh, functions for 3D modeling, we have interior objects and equipment and we have drawing creation and reporting functions. Um, the most important function is for sure the modeling function, so we have a lot of intelligent objects, walls, doors, windows, I want to show you in the next five minutes. And uh, it's very easy to create with these objects and to add it with these objects, so our functionality is defined for substation designers and not for architects. So here you see the building that I want to create now in the next few minutes and I sh show you from the beginning to the end how we do it. We work uh, with one palette only in PrimTech, so we have one palette for PrimTech building design, so you can find all the objects and the information you need. And I start with an intuitive grid object. You can define all the spaces uh, between the grids, we automatically uh, create the bubbles. And when I bring in a column on this grid, you see I bring it on one uh, snap point here and the grid and the column automatically is inserted on each uh, section point here. Very easy and very intuitive to use. We have some uh, predefined wall objects. So we have walls for inside, outside, when walls like concrete wall and so on. And here you can see how easy it is to, to work together with walls and, and columns. So I have created the wall o over all the columns now as they cut out the wall at the column places and that's it. Very, very easy to use and only with two clicks. Now let's have a look on an uh, inside wall. Here I select a point on on the outside wall, you see the inside wall is, is smaller than an outside wall. And here, very interesting, you see what's, what's happening to the lines. The wall automatically knows uh, that uh, the lines had to be broken up. Now I go a little bit ahead. Now I have some more walls uh, defined. I have some doors inside and some windows. Um, and now let's have a closer look uh, how we work with doors. We have some predefined door types and predefined sizes, just drag and drop coming out of the palette, bring it uh, on a wall and that's it. The wall automatically has a cutout and you can stretch the door and can flip it with these arrows. And if you delete doors, the walls automatically will be closed and with a right click on existing object, you can copy the same object to another place. Very easy to work with these objects. So I select this door, flip it. Funny. So let's have a look on uh, our windows. We have uh, a lot of predefined windows and it can use existing windows. Just copy it. The window knows it only can be inserted in a wall. The wall has to be broken up <coughs> and that's it. Very, very easy to use. We have a lot of objects in our library for your building design. So we have a lot of objects for office furniture, uh, we have objects uh, in our library for uh, kitchen and for bathrooms. Just drag and drop the objects from the, li from the library into the drawing and that's it. We have special objects with uh, intelligence uh, for the switchboards. Here we have a switchboard inserted. You can stretch it very easy. You can flip the doors, you can select a door with uh, two leaves and we have uh, another more, uh, one more object for a switchboard with doors on the front and on the back side. 
So now everything is uh, finally defined. What uh, I'm missing is a stair when I work with uh, two levels here in this building. I, I need a stair in the building, so we have a stair object. And just with one, two, three and four clicks, I create a stair in the building and uh, let's have a look on the properties here of the stairs. Here's a property manager for the stair. You can see uh, you can modify everything you want. We have handrails also and very easy to use for a substation designer. What I have done now was everything in 2D and behind my 2D I had all the 3D information. So, very impressing how fast this works with PrimTech. Here is a finally defined building with uh, three levels. I switch off the uh, walls and, and windows so have a lo short look inside so you can see all the inside uh, defined objects and for your documentation we have predefined uh, drawing styles so just with two or four clicks you can create all the necessary uh, drawings for your documentation and uh, let's have a look on a plot preview so you can see uh, the quality of our uh, created building drawings. Finally I go back to my uh, substation model. Here is my 3D building and uh, I switch in the, the 3D substation model. So you see we have uh, high quality 3D documentation with all the information you need for, for your bill of material and all the information you need for drawing creation. So far, thank you very much and if you need more information, feel free to contact us. Thank you.